Hello property navigators. The next time you hear trend predictions about Australia's property market, keep one point in mind. There isn't really a single market. Australia's states, regions, cities, and even suburbs differ significantly in their property markets. Neighboring suburbs within the same postcode can behave differently, creating thousands of distinct property markets across the country at any given time. But at a broader level, most industry experts often comment on the variations in property market behavior across our larger cities. So we have performed a lot of research to pinpoint the key drivers of each larger city's property market, opportunities for investors and potential changes. I'll share these insights city by city with you, starting with Perth. Perth has been experiencing a trend of accelerating property price growth since January 2023, with a current annual growth rate exceeding 30%. This growth rate has not yet peaked, but is nearing its highest point. Annual rent growth is also robust currently at 13.2%, which is 5% above the national growth rate. However, the rate of rent growth seems to be stabilizing. What are the main drivers behind this impressive performance? One significant factor is a healthy population growth of post-COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns. Another is an increase in mining activity, driving demand for labor. These factors coincide with a 45% reduction in residential property listings since January 2023, while investor activity remains strong. Vacancy rates have been consistently low, around the 0.5% mark for the past two years. Investor loans in Perth have also increased fivefold compared to pre-pandemic levels, rising from $250 million to $1.23 billion. This is the highest borrowing level ever, and current trends indicate continued growth. Research predicts that the rate of price growth will likely plateau and then ease within the next six to 12 months. However, median price growth will stay positive for some time with house prices expected to rise strongly for another 12 to 24 months. These forecasts could be influenced by further interest rate hikes and any changed activity in the mining sector. Rental rates have stabilized and may fluctuate mildly over time, continuing to level out. With all these factors in play, continued capital growth is expected in Perth, though not uniformly across all suburbs. Next, we focus on Brisbane. After years of fairly average performance, the market in Queensland capital saw a turnaround. Data indicates that by May 2023, the median house price growth had surged to over 20% per annum and has maintained this rate now into the second half of 2024. While this is unlikely to accelerate further, there is no sign of it slowing down soon. Similarly, annual rent growth remains robust, though it is slightly below the national average and shows marginal signs of slowing. A significant driver behind Brisbane's property price surge is the strong population growth since the reopening of borders post COVID-19. This increase includes both international arrivals and Queensland leading the country with the highest share of interstate migration out of every state. This population rise has coincided with a substantial drop in property sales listings, which are significantly lower than pre-pandemic levels. Sales listings have decreased by 24% since September 2022 and continue to trend downwards. Now, less than half of what they were pre-pandemic. This trend is coupled with strong investor activity. There has been about a $1 billion increase in investor loans since February 2023, up 1.5 billion from pre-pandemic levels, with loan volumes still on the rise. Meanwhile, rental vacancy rates have increased by more than 50% since June 2022, but remain very low, just above 1%. Our research suggests that rental growth in Brisbane is currently stable and will likely ease over the next 6 to 12 months, although growth rates will still stay above 10% for a while longer. Regarding house prices, research indicates they will continue to grow strongly for another 12 to 24 months based on current listing volumes. However, this outlook is subject to market influences such as interest rates and other unforeseen circumstances. Next, let's talk about Adelaide. For over a decade following the GFC, the South Australian capital was known for its stable property market. During the pandemic, population movements increased migration to Adelaide, shifting sentiment and driving prices up by approximately 43% in 22 months. Subsequently, prices plateaued and slightly retracted as interest rates rose. However, from that point until this year, growth rates picked up again, enjoying a steady circa 15% per annum with consistent demand. This changed in February of this year when a trend of accelerating growth emerged. A data shows that the current growth rate in median property prices is now over 30% per annum, nearing its peak. Meanwhile, annual rent growth remains strong, slightly above the national average and continues to exhibit our healthy growth. 
Adelaide has experienced significant population growth since the COVID-19 pandemic, driving median property price growth. The city saw its highest annual population growth rate in decades. While this rate has plateaued for some time, it is now slowly trending down. The recent price growth has occurred during a period of low sales listings, which have fallen 25% since September 2022 and continue to decrease. Current listings are less than 50% of pre-pandemic levels. Investment activity in the city remains robust, with a threefold increase compared to pre-pandemic levels of a 60% rise since January 2023. At the same time, rental vacancy rates have increased by more than 75% since October 2023, but remain very low at just 0.7%. Although the median price growth rate is currently rising, it is expected to ease within the next one to six months. Even so, growth rates are projected to remain above 10% for some time. Market research indicates that median prices will continue to grow for another nine to 15 months based on trends in listing volumes. However, additional interest rate hikes and other unknown factors could impact that trend. Next, we turn our attention to Sydney. The capital of New South Wales has seen steady growth in median prices since March this year, though the rate has softened in the recent weeks of writing this video. Some experts attribute this to the annual seasonal slowdown typically seen during the winter months. The current annual price growth rate is around 15%, although this varies by suburb. Overall, there is a positive sentiment among real estate agents that the market will stay strong. In terms of rental growth, Sydney's rate is lower than the hotter states and below the national average. The current rental growth rate for Sydney is 5.6% compared to the national average of 8.2%. At present, asking rents are declining, so this annual figure is likely to diverge further from the national average. A major driver of price growth has been the strong surge in migration following the reopening of international borders after the pandemic. Property listings are stable and align closely with long-term pre-pandemic averages with no signs of significant changes in the near future. Despite a recent pullback from its peak, investor activity in Sydney remains robust. Annual sales volumes have increased by $1 billion since December 2022 and by $2 billion since the 2019 election, maintaining upward pressure on median house prices. Meanwhile, rental vacancy rates have remained fairly steady, aligning with decade-long averages. Currently, vacancy rates are around 1.7%. The growth rate is currently stable and unlikely to shift significantly soon. Expect gentle, steady growth over the next 12 months with a potential increase in growth rates afterwards. However, this could be influenced by any further interest rate hikes by the Reserve Bank and other unknown factors. Average rental rates appear to have recently peaked and are now declining slowly, and some volatility is expected for a while, but ultimately rent growth rates will plateau. Looking ahead, there will be further price growth, but some locations may offer negotiation opportunities on purchase prices before growth resumes. Overall, the Sydney's market can be described as a mixed bag regarding growth. Lastly, we have Australia's largest capital, Sydney, Melbourne. In terms of its residential property market, the home of Aussie rules football is experiencing a trend of gentle price declines. Since September 2023, median prices have been decreasing by an average of about 3.5% per annum. The data shows that while price growth is still occurring in some suburbs, the rate of this growth varies. Many real estate agents report a subdued market sentiment. Regarding rental yields, annual growth rate is currently above the national average. Melbourne's average rental yield is around 8.5% per annum compared to the national average of 8.2%. However, research indicates that this growth rate is starting to stabilize. Like other Australian capital cities, post-pandemic population growth is a significant driver of the property market. Melbourne's population growth rate is comparable to, if not exceeding that of Sydney. Sales listings volumes are slowly increasing and have reached levels similar to long-term pre-pandemic averages. Reflecting at this increase in listings, investor activity has significantly fallen from its peak in the second quarter of 2022. Although spending by investors has increased by 400 million since March 23, the volume of investor purchases is down. This trend is less pronounced compared to Sydney, but appears relatively steady. Rental vacancy rates have remained fairly static over the past 18 months and seasonally adjusted but are about 40% below pre-pandemic averages. Current vacancy rates are below 1.2%. Research indicates that the overall rate of price growth in Melbourne is currently declining. While significant changes are likely in the next month or two, the market may plateau and potentially gain a slight growth momentum before the end of the year, depending on further RBA interest rate hikes and other events. 
Rental rates peaked early in 2024 and asking rents have now flattened out. This trend is expected to continue for the foreseeable future. Given these factors, there are good opportunities for negotiation for those ready to enter the market. While slow growth is expected, no dramatic declines are forecasted. Well, there it is, our five market rundown. Remember, you are not buying into a city market, but into specific properties within specific markets and suburbs. So understanding the differences and forces at work at the suburb level is absolutely crucial. Until next time, happy property navigating.